I feel like every single time I sit down to film this video, I'm a little more shocked that a whole year has gone by again. I'm on my way, I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the wind blows in the rain is pouring It will always be Christmas in my heart But this year I wanna hang out with my friends and friends We made it, you guys. It is Vlogmas Day 25, or AKA, what I got for Christmas. This video has a special place in my heart. This was the first video I posted on my channel. It's still up. You can watch it if you want. It's really bad, okay? Today I'm gonna be filming the what I got for Christmas video. Let me say hi quick. This is my cat, and I'm Mrs. Snickers, and she's probably gonna be in a lot of videos because she likes to socialize. We all start somewhere. Even though I've only been doing YouTube like seriously for like a year and a half, um, I've had a channel since 2015, guys. Fetus Sam is on YouTube. This was the first video I ever filmed. As a tradition to myself, I keep doing it. Christmas wouldn't be complete without sitting on my couch and watching 50 what I got for Christmas hauls. So if that's you right now, hi. My feet are asleep. It's currently Christmas morning. Is it morning? Yeah, it's 1020 on December 25th, 2019. I have some things I want to say to you guys, but I'm going to wait until the end of this to get sappy with you guys. That way the people that are just here for the haul won't get up my ass. So I even need to say this, like I'm not here to brag. If you got less or more, like it does not matter. I don't have things organized by who gave them to me. I got gifts from my mom and my dad, whew, my sister and her fiance, and then my aunt and cousin. I'm just gonna go ahead and start. First thing I got, I really needed a new one of these because mine is just so gross. I got a new comfy. I feel like everyone got comfies for people this year. I was ahead of the game, okay? I started the trend. This is what it looks like. It's so pretty. I actually wear it inside out with a fuzz part facing outwards. This was from my mom, by the way. Yes, from my mommy. The next gift. The next I don't know how that fell or why it decided to fly off of my chair now. I guess I just decided to ignore it. The next gift that I got from my mom, I have been wanting for so long. I actually filmed myself opening it last night, I'm pretty sure. But it is a weighted blanket. I have such bad anxiety. I know you guys might get tired of me saying that. And sometimes when I'm like sitting on the couch, I'll have like anxiety attacks or panic attacks. I've heard they can really help improve your sleep quality. My mommy got me one and I'm really, really excited about it. So I'll insert the footage of me opening it last night. <laughs> oh, it's so heavy. My mom got me this. I've probably wanted one for the past like eight months. I don't know if you've ever looked into buying a weighted blanket. They're not cheap. For some reason this year, they were everywhere. My mom decided she wanted to get me one for Christmas and we went back and forth for a really long time on which one to get. And we decided we just don't think it matters. Weighted blankets are supposed to be really good. I don't know if that's true or not, but we're gonna find out. My Calm Blanket. We honestly honestly had no idea. My mom just kind of picked one. This is 20 pounds. I heard it goes kind of like depending on how much you weigh and I'm a hefty human. I got a hefty blanket. It's so heavy. Ooh. Looking at this is probably weird because it's a blanket and it looks just like a blanket so you would think it's really light. real nice. Real, real nice. The reason I opened it is because I'm about to lay on the couch and watch a crap ton of YouTube videos and I wanted to do it with my blanket. I don't have a damn thing to worry about except enjoying my life tonight. I can just relax for the first time in an entire month. I told you I'd do it. Thank you for giving me the strength. Wait, Sam, is that a hydro flask? And I open a oop. Yes, it is. And I open a oop. I'm sorry, you could unsubscribe for that. I have a water bottle addiction. I buy way too many water bottles and I have way too many water bottles, but I go through phases. I'll only use a certain water bottle and then I need a new one, which I know isn't good. It's an addiction. 
I need help. Recently, I've really been into the color yellow. I have decided that I want to buy a yellow car. Whenever I upgrade from my Focus, I want to get a yellow Wrangler. Yellow is just such a happy color, and it was my grandma's favorite color. I really wanted a yellow Hydro Flask. My mom and my sister could not find one anywhere, and then they were all sold out, so I didn't think I was getting one, which is not the end of the world. My mom, I guess, found one while we were in the Mall of America, and I didn't notice somehow. My sister and my mommy split this and gave it to me. Let's just do these clothes. I think I've mentioned it in the video a couple of times. Not sure, but I think I did. I want a white Carhartt hat. They are literally impossible to find. Like a lot of the ones people are able to find are knockoffs and not the real ones. My sister was not able to find a white one, but she was able to find this really pretty black and white knitted one. It's seriously still so cute. And I have a black puffy jacket and a white one. I can wear it with either one. My mom got me this friends hoodie from Urban Outfitters. I'm pretty sure it's the men's section because women's clothes at Urban Outfitters wouldn't fit my big toe. How cute is this? When I was going through my very, very dark depressive episode in the early fall, like September, October, all I did basically was watch Friends. It has a special place in my heart and I really, really like it. My mom got me this teddy bear crew neck sweater thing. I have this in a tan color that you guys have seen me wear. I love that sweatshirt. I think it's supposed to be cropped, but you guys, cropped clothing on me isn't cropped. I'm five foot. It's from Wild Fable. If any of you guys ever wondered where my tan one is from, that's what it is. Uh, la, la. My foot is numb. It's a gray like pea coat, duster coat. I still don't know what to call these. It's the same one as my pink one if you guys watched my outfits video. I just wanted a different color because I didn't want to have to wear pink all the time. I live in Wisconsin. You literally can't own enough coats. I'm sorry but we have to take an intermission because I have to go to the bathroom. I went to the bathroom. What time is it? It's noon. I went to the bathroom and then I sat on my couch because I forgot I was filming this video. I just really want to take a nap. My family did Christmas yesterday, so it is Christmas day and I'm just chilling, spending Christmas alone, you know, it's fine. As a result of that, I am super relaxed. This next gift is from my mom and this is something I have literally been asking for for maybe two or three years. It's this record player. I didn't care which record player, I just wanted one. And this one's cool because it does blur truth. I actually don't have any records right now. I need to buy some. I wonder if I can get Louis Capaldi's album as a record. I actually set it up last night. So a huge thank you to my mommy for getting me this. I'm seriously so excited. As soon as I'm done filming this, I'm gonna put like old school Christmas music playing through it and it's just gonna be so I've got no patience. I was gonna wait to figure this out till tomorrow and it's 11.30 at night. But you know, I do what I want and this is what I want. I have wanted a record player for forever. To be honest, I didn't think my mom remembered that I wanted one. It was one of those gifts where I low-key hinted at it every single time we were in the store. Every time we were in Target, I'd be like, oh look, there's a record player. When we were in Urban Outfitters the other day, I was like, look at the record players. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> look at it. Oh, I'm so excited. Is there a direction? Yes. I'm trying to set it up for Bluetooth. That sounds like a good noise. I know I look insane, just get over it. My mom got me these two pairs of fuzzy socks. One has a sloth on it and one is a T-Rex. She also got me a pack of just short socks because I need socks so badly and Christmas is always a good time to get them. My aunt got me this super cute sloth mug. I'm obsessed with sloths. It comes with some hot chocolates. Maybe we'll make this today. I mean like this is adorable. You can't be mad at it. My aunt got me this and she also got me these super cute like cookie cutter string lights. Next Christmas I can hang them up. They're so adorable. She also got this like packet, multi-uses for scented sachets. It just smells super good and you stick it somewhere and it makes the room smell good. She got me a Dunkin' Donuts gift card. I don't know how, but as of right now, my last video hit 10,000 likes. So I guess I have to let my mom go into Dunkin' and talk to Dunkin' Boy for me. I can let her use this to get me coffee while she's in there. The last thing my aunt got me were two of these fluffy pillows. Look at how freaking luxurious. 
luxurious. They look perfect on my couch. I really, really love them. Thank you, Aunt Tracy, if you're watching this. I love you so much. I love all of the gifts so, 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 so much. I hope you had an amazing Christmas. My mom also got me this little <laughs> sloth mug that just says, slow down. I have my own apartment and things like towels are things that I seriously need. I don't know how it happens, but my towels get so disgusting. It might have something to do with the fact that I use them 10 times before I wash them. I'm just showing you one of them, but I think she got me like four or five. They're cute and they're pink and they match. And these towels from Kohl's, they're so soft. They don't feel like towels. One of my biggest fears in life, I'm opening up to you guys and telling you this. I don't know if I've ever said it before. I'm afraid of towels. The texture of a towel makes me want to vomit. I can't handle it. I don't like when it touches my skin. Sometimes I do opt to air dry when I get out of the shower. If I have to use a towel, the ones that my mom always gets me are so soft. They feel like blankets and not towels. I think that's it for the stuff that I was given for Christmas. Oh, I left it in my mom's car. My mom got me a new dish set. All of my, I don't really have, I have all, all the, can I speak? Most of my dishes are just like plastic dishes and she got me a really nice set of dishes. If I'm missing something, I'm so sorry. But I grabbed a few things from my room that I bought myself for Christmas. It's not all of them, but it's some of them. This video would be really long if I just showed you guys all the things I buy for myself. I showed these in a video, but I got myself a pair of white platform Doc Martens. I would not let myself buy Docs or even think about getting Docs for a long time because I didn't think they would fit my chunky ankles. I didn't think they would zip or they'd have to like be left wide open and they don't. So if you have wide feet, try them because I got like the widest feet in the world. So my mom recently got me a pair of black ones and then I realized how much I love them and want to wear them all the time because they just make you feel like a badass. We got a pair of white ones and I'm really excited to wear them but I'm not excited to break them in because it sucks. I got myself a new pair of Fila's. Look how gorgeous and white these are. I did not buy these to wear them out and about for the day. I bought them for Instagram pictures. But my Fila's, I originally bought and was like, oh, I'll just wear them for pictures and they'll be cute. But they're the most comfortable things I've ever put on my feet. So I wear them all the time. They're dirty and nasty. Don't look very good in pictures anymore. I bought a pair for when I'm just taking pictures. It makes me happy, so that's all that matters. I got myself this sweater from American Eagle. I got it in a purple color at the Mall of America. I found it in this like really cool green color. I don't know what kind of green it is. I just think it looks cool. It's longer and it has a slit right here. So if you have a thick tummy or a thick booty, it has room for you when you sit down. I got myself this puffy corduroy black jacket from Wild Fable at Target. If you guys remember in a vlog, I tried on a blue version of this and I didn't buy it. And when I went back, they didn't have the blue version of my size anymore. But they had this black version, which I think I'll get more use out of anyway. And if you watched yesterday's vlog, I was wearing this cardigan from Ava and Viv. It's got nice big sleeves. It's like a loosely knitted cardigan. It's the softest thing I've ever put on my body. I love it. I think all of their sweaters and stuff were like 30% off. So I kind of just went ham. It's hard to tell. These are like a stretchy corduroy material. And they're just black pants. They look nicer than wearing joggers but they're still comfy so I got myself these from TJ Maxx what brand is it they're by a brand called Land's End and I really like them they're really comfy I tried them on yesterday the last few things I'm showing you guys I bought when I was in the Mount America the first is this lip balm and it's called Laneige lip glowy balm in the flavor berry. Gretchen loves beauty or Gretchen Garrity. Talks about this all the time, so I got it. I put it on before I went through the Dunkin' Donuts drive-thru and it still didn't get Dunkin' Boy to notice me, so. At Lush, I bought myself this cookie dough shower scrub. It smelled really good. It's time for me to shave my legs. I figured I would just treat my legs since I've been neglecting them for a little while. I got this Rudolph face mask and I used this once already and it smells like chocolate. That was what I got for Christmas. I cannot believe this is the fourth year of I'm filming this video. We made it through Vlogmas. Honestly, when I started Vlogmas, I was 99% sure that I wasn't gonna make it through. I thought for sure I would miss videos. I learned that I am capable of a lot more than I thought I was ever capable of. At the beginning of the month, I was just coming out of a really dark, depressive episode. Vlogmas could not be coming at a worse time. I am not like ready to be filming every day. I'm not ready for it. And I knew the only way I was gonna make it through is if I was able 
able to just be open and honest on days that I was not feeling it. I was not having a good time. You guys allowed me to do that without ever feeling judged. I've been getting a lot of comments recently saying, oh my gosh, like your comment section is so wholesome. I've never seen such a positive comment section and it's so much love and everyone's supporting each other. You guys aren't just supporting me. If someone will comment something about them having a bad day and there's this giant thread underneath it of you guys supporting them and I truly feel like I've spent this past month with you guys. I've read every comment. I'm just so happy. My camera's dying. My camera died. I wanted to finish closing off this video. I just feel like I've gotten so much closer to you guys and I feel so much more confident coming on my channel knowing that I have such an amazing group of people supporting me and that is you guys. Thank you so much for making Vlogmas for me such a positive experience. Like I said, I was really scared in the beginning but you guys very quickly took away all of those fears and we just took it day by day together. I say we did a good job, like we made it through Vlogmas because without you guys, I wouldn't have made it through Vlogmas. You guys were my motivation. Knowing that so many of you guys were waiting for my videos every day just made me feel like I had a purpose. Honestly, I'm kind of scared for what's gonna happen after Vlogmas. This month has been so much, it's like all of a sudden just gonna be over and I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna do my best to keep myself busy and uploading as much as I possibly can. I'm really excited to want to make content and I get to spend more time on my videos now, which makes me really happy. I just want to say thank you guys for watching Vlogmas 2K19 and I cannot wait for Vlogmas 2020. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. It's really sad saying goodbye, but goodbye. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around